Hi, I'm BJ Hopper. And I'm Giovanna Lopez. And we are co owners of Specialized Nursing Services. We would like to share our story with you. I met Giovanna almost 30 years ago, believe it or not, <laughs> when we were co workers for a company that provided services to people with disabilities. And when I retired from that company, and Yovana left the company, we decided we wanted to keep working together. So we looked for a company we wanted to buy and be able to continue to provide services to the people who needed us. This company is a specialized nursing services who has been operational for 27 years. And we bought specialized nursing services 13 years ago. And it gave us a platform to continue serving vulnerable populations in this case, it's been the sick and the elderly, either people that want to be able to have support at home and stay home, or they have gone through an acute episode and need support at home to return to the previous level of functioning. We both had a lot of personal experience in caregiving. Um, I'm a mother, a grandmother of only one, but she's really special. And um, I, my husband required help care and, and my care for a long time as he had heart disease and and when I retired it was to take care of him until he passed away. Now my mother who's 102 lives with me and um, she is she's a wonderful person to live with. She has a great attitude and great sense of humor but as she's aged and had a couple of falls things have become difficult from time to time and so my experience with those things, as well as our professional and educational backgrounds, gives me a real passion for what Specialized is, wants to do and is able to do. And you've had some similar experiences. Absolutely. I guess my first experience was when I, was my mom and I, and uh, her mom, my grandmother, lived with us. And I supported my mom in taking care of my grandmother at home until she passed. And that was many years ago when I was really young. Most recently, as an only child, I was the only one responsible for the care of my mom and my dad. Uh, my mom was in Puerto Rico while I lived in Florida, so taking care of her was more challenging. And more than ever, I needed not the support only of my father, but also an aide that would support them in the evenings. Things started changing for my mother when she had a fall that led to hospitalization and led to a spiritual failure and she passed away. Thanks to caregivers that stay with her every evening in the hospital and also during the day, my mom had a good, a good hospitalization. After that, my dad was being very stubborn and he wanted to stay in Puerto Rico independently until he had a fall. At that time, the decision was not him. I took the decision and my sons, when I got him, and yeah, parenthesis, kidnapped him and brought him home, where I was able also, with the help of my family, to take care of my dad. And when I was at work, I was able to be an aide, to be able to support him and supervise him and provide quality of care so he could stay home and I didn't have to be in a home, out of home placement.